Hello everyone, welcome to this JMeter tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the variables and functions in JMeter. So let's begin. So what are variables in JMeter? Okay, so variables are used, variables are used to store a value. Okay, so variable are used to store a value. And why we need to do that? Because it will make your scripts make your scripts efficient easy to read and easy to update slash modify so basically for achieving these three things we need variables in gmeter okay so in Jmeter, you can create a variable and you can name a variable. For example, I'm creating a variable here, variable and giving a name it as, for example, test. So test is basically the name of variable. And now you can store any value to it. So this value can be static or you can extract a runtime value and save into the variable you can store any value for example you can store here any value like tutorial okay so tutorial is the value of this variable and the name of variable is test how you can make your scripts efficient the answer is really simple to it let's suppose you have request multiple request okay request one request to request three and let's suppose it's it goes to like up to request 100 now in these requests there is something really common let's suppose the url or the host name is common okay and now if you don't use the variable what you need to do is that you need to provide the host name against every request, right? But let's suppose if you create a variable in JMeter and name it as host name and your host can be like, for example, www.jmeter.org. Okay. Now you have stored a value into a variable called host name. Now you don't need to repeat this host name against every request. For example, one thing is using is that you can just go here and provide this host name against every request. This is one way of doing it, right? When you provide separately, so it will consume a lot of memory. So it will make your script less efficient. The second way is that you can use the host name here, which is the name of variable. Instead of this, now what you can do is that you can just refer the variable here or call the variable here. Okay. And that's it. Now, instead of creating a hundred different memory slots on the backend, it will utilize only one. We are just referring this variable name in our request. And now you can see that it is easy to read and understand. Furthermore, tomorrow, if your host name changes to jmeter1 dot org, for example, okay? If you haven't used the variables, you need to go to each and every request and you need to update each and every request. So in this scenario, you need to open the 100 request and update each request. But in case of using the variable, you just need to update here where you have defined the variable. So this is a concept of using the variables. Now let's open JMeter and see this practically. Now let me open the test we created in our previous session. Let me go to open and there was timer session which we created. And I'm opening this one here and we have these multiple requests here. So I am removing these timers from here so that 
we can understand this concept properly okay let me remove these okay remove this one from here now that's good so we have three requests and you can see that the server name or IP is jmeter.org dot jmeter dot apache dot org similarly we are repeating this thing here in our get started request and same for the best practices as well okay now how we can use or achieve this using a variable go to the test panel level go to add okay and in config element you can see that we have a variables option define user defined variables click on this one move this on test panel level here and now click on add and I am giving the name has host name and that's it now what is the value the value is this one copy from here and paste it here so you had just defined it once and the name of the variable is the host name now we just need to call that particular variable into our request so here you need to provide dollar curly braces close curly braces and name of the variable that's it so just dry run this one and see what happens we just changed the host name for this particular URL and if I open this request here you see that it is going to jmeter.apache.org but we just you see that we just provided or passed the variable here so let me copy this again here and pass this here and let me do it for the other request and save this request and let it run again and you will see all three requests got executed successfully here and this is the power of using the variables so tomorrow if this host name changes you just need to go here and update your host name now what else you can do in similar way if you feel that some very values are repetitive and we are uh, using them into the multiple request you can create the variables for them as well so for example here we have this user manual okay in this particular call get started and here as well so what I can do is that I will go here add a variable called like uh, I'm giving name it as user manual okay let me correct the spelling here and so value is this one okay I'm coming from here and pasting it here okay now in this request instead of using this value I will use dollar percent dollar calibrasis and the value and let me copy this whole part from here and use this in best practices call okay so instead of this user manual I'm using this variable now clear the results run this again and let's see what happens so you can see these requests got executed successfully so tomorrow this uh, user manual value change to some maybe user guide okay you don't need to go again to each and every request containing the user manual and update them you just need to go to here user define variables and just update the value so that's how you can use and get the benefit from the variables now let's understand functions and see how we can use the functions in jmeter for that let me open the notepad here so functions are really powerful and when you define functions so there's a selection of body okay selection of a code this code what it does is that let's suppose there is some code written in function and let's suppose i'm just hypothetically writing here provide random string 
So in ideally there must be some code written here. It's the purpose of using the function is that let me uh, name the function as function and naming it as random string. Okay. So what this random string function is doing is that whenever you call this function, so it will generate a random value anytime. Now what is the benefit of using this? So there are already pre-written functions in the G meter and you just need to use those functions in your script. You don't need to write a whole logic to get some output. So let's let's go to the G meter here and we need to go to the tool section here and you can see that there is a function helper dialog. Click on this one and here in the drop down click on this one so you can see there are so many functions available here okay and you can see that random date so for example tomorrow you want to generate a random date in your script you don't need to write a function or the code you just need to use this function in your call or your script and rest it will be done and now the second question is that how to use these functions in your script so for example if i go to here some let me find random string here yeah this one so it has random string length character to use from so you can populate the string as per your requirement for example you need a string whose length should be 10 and it should have a values like a b c and you are specifying the characters you just need to click on generate and copy to the clipboard so now it has generated a function for you and already being copied if you don't want to specify anything here just remove this thing here and click on generate again but ideally because uh, we are testing some application let's suppose you need uh, name of the user so user name must have a length of maybe 15 and name should contain like a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z so what i'm doing is that i need a function which provides me a random string the length of random string should be 15 and it should contain only small alphabets okay let me click on this one so now this function has been generated let me close this one and let's see how we can use this one now let me close this thread group let me disable this one this one as well let me create another thread group and now open the browser and let me find an api so there is api called instant web tools so from this website you can have a dummy websites so instant tools instant web tools net open this one and now you need to go to the fake api go to the rest api click on this one and here if you scroll down you can see that we have an api to create a data for the passenger so this is the api and let's map this first into a jmeter so this is our host okay and i'm adding a request here as http request so i'm changing a name it to create passenger okay this is uh, the host name and what else we need here so what we need here is that we need this path okay slash v1 and going back to the gmeter providing the path here this is the post call okay and what else we need uh, we need the protocol from here going back to the gmeter here providing the protocol now we have mapped the requirements here 
and we need to create a passenger and as we know this is a post call so we must need to provide a body okay so we need to add the variables here so where we can find those so for that we need to click on these arrows okay so this is a body so it contains name trips and inline let me copy these ones from here and name okay and add name then we have trips and what else we have name trips and and line and the third one is air air line okay so name can be like right now i'm typing as testing funda and trips can be 250 and airline is 5 so this is the information we got as a sample from this particular website now let's go to the gmeter and add a listener here and just dry run this one and see what happens okay so request got successful and this user has been created and here you can see that the name is tested funda which we provided trips 250 and end line is this one now assume that your api have a restriction and the, the restriction is that you cannot create a passenger with the same name right so the one way is to use the csv and make this api data driven or the other way around is to use the function here to generate the random string here click on this one here and what i need to do is that go here click on function helper dialog so i am going here to the string random string yeah this one i'm giving the length as 15 and okay so the function has been generated and just like we use variables we pass the variables now instead of passing the variables we would be using the function here and whenever i use this one it will generate a random value so previously you can see that it was testing funda let's run this one you can see another passenger has been created and right now you can see this some random value being generated okay as we haven't provided the function what we need exactly so i'm going back to the function helper dialog and let me go to this particular function here and 15 and a b c i'm just giving some random things so that i can generate value from these okay now copy this one go to the passenger here and let me paste it here okay now save this one and run this again now you can see it generated a random value the random jelly is actually be generated based on the function okay so let's run this again and you will see a random value again and again thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next lecture